Do you ever find yourself sitting at Wintertop with all the weirdos who are fletching and think to yourself, how do I make money? Only to look up some YouTube video and think, I could never do this. Well today, I decided to see if the ordinary decent RuneScape PKer could replicate some of these results. Naturally, when copying some RuneScape creator, the first thing you do is sell your entire fucking bank and do a from scratch series. Apparently it's some easy views, so that's what I'm gonna do. If you made it this far, that must also mean you're dumb like me. Now that we have that, we are going to give ourselves 100k because if you can't get 100k in this day and age off of any other YouTube video, then I don't know what to tell you. Alrighty guys, this should be the final setup that we are going to be rocking. We didn't go and get any rune gloves or anything like that with the 100k, even though we probably should have. We are going to be using the Zami cape and the Avas, just because these two are very easy to get. Every single person should have them. We're not using the attractor even though I have some. If we want to unlock that, then we'll actually pay for that and we'll want to parch that as well anyway. But for now, this is what we're going to be rocking. We got all this with 100k. We're only rocking the super strength, no ranging pot. And we have no prayer potions, so we'll see how this goes. But luckily there is an altar where we will be PKing. Mr. Ash Jafar will be the first potential victim. Going with the DDS spec. He should be dead here. We're just going to poke him. Poking is the cheapest option on these guys. Let's see if he had anything noted. Definitely has a key, but we'll wait till the end to go check that. We'll try and get a few more kills. I don't want to spoil anything. We got ourselves a little Iron Man on his way here. Do the little movement like we're an MSB peer. Ooh, going in with the nice DDS pulling through finally. Oh, another guy doing bones. This guy's got a bulwark. This is gonna be hard kill, but if we can't get it, it'll be huge. He has taken off his clothes. You never know though, that could just be so he wants us to off him. We'll kill him, see if he actually has anything. Not looking like it though. Ooh, we got ourselves some PKers. We're gonna take this as the sign and we are gonna leave and cash in these two keys. All right, two keys. Got them both from doing this first method. Let's see how much they were. Okay, not bad. First one, standard what we think, about 30K. Then this one, nice. That's pretty good. 83k is kind of huge right now. Nice, easy. Already doubled our cash stack. That's super nice. Just for convenience for this, we're just going to go ahead and get 10 house tabs. Just so we can restore the stats. Alright, this is the new setup. Really, the only gear upgrade we got is rune gloves. But now, we can probably go to somewhere that has a little bit more risk. Just because we actually have some food. And we can get away if we need to. As long as actual stores for our prayer and some birds. So let's head back up one more time then we'll move on to something else. Ooh, nice! We found a guy with the Den's Bulwark. Not very good. We wasted a sip of our ranging pot. Those are expensive. Nice. Looking promising. Nice kill. Thank you, man. This guy looks like he maybe he has bones. He's burying them. Oh no, I'm in my D hide. Let's see if the DDS should be going in here. He does have no armor on. Nice. DDS is gonna get us this kill here. Uh oh. Ooh, this isn't too terrible.
Please, we really need to catch this. We really need to catch this. Wow, we can't. We ran out of runes. So unfortunate. Oh, go in for the big DDS. At the end, we had to go for it. What a crazy way to end that. This is how far he had to get for that. What a great kill. He was two tiles away from safety. We had no more barrages left. We just had to full send it there. Wow, really nice keys in here. Look at that. Very nice. The first one, some wyvern bones. Second one, some superiors. Nice. That's the bulwark guy. This is the guy we just killed. 123k. Not as much as the other guy doing superior bones. And then, of course, the people he killed. Very nice keys. I'm going to make my way back to the GE and sell that. Alright, 461k after we did that. We still may need to get a little bit more supplies. But we're probably going to retire the chef's hat for now. And we're going to get a new setup. And we're going to be on standard for this next method of PKing. This is going to be the next setup where we're going to go. We are going to make our way to the Wilderness Slayer Cave. And we are going to try and kill people killing Necreals. Wow, what a crazy start. There's already people out here. Look at that. We haven't even made our way to the place. Ooh, I found a group Iron Man already when I'm coming in here. Hopefully he doesn't hop. Maybe he's AFK? He looks AFK. Splash the first TB. Caught the second one. He's gonna die to the Ancoots. Oh, he's back. Now this is a problem PKing solo though. Big DDS please. That could be it, that could be the kill. Nice, we finished him. He was trying to go back and forth, but we eventually got the kill. It was, splash the TB. Get it the second time, we got it the second time. I really wanna freeze him here, so I can start bolting him. Big bolt. Another big bolt, huge bolt. He's not changing his prayer. He only has one on him. Don't let him catch it. Oh, nice. Splash. Catch it. Nice, we caught it. I want to get melee. Melee distance of him. Nice, he smited. One more hit. Spec. Big spec, double it up. Huge spec. Right before he got the prayer up. That's going to be a really big key, I imagine. We're going to go and bank right after that. Oh, that's pretty decent, actually. First one's very nice. Some maroon, some straight-up cash. About what you'd expect. And the second one's super nice. 450 blighted ice axe is going to come in handy a lot. Alright, this is the new PK setup. We are looking absolutely deadly. We're gonna head straight back there and see if we can get more upgrades for our next PK spot. Oh, it's the same guy again. Oh, he was quick enough this time though. That would have been funny though. Killing the same guy two times in a row. To be fair, he was risking quite a bit. Oh, Mr. Buttlicker. Oh, Buttlicker did get away, unfortunately. Never PK'd here before. I actually don't know where people would be. Oh, no, Solo Gig got away. So unfortunate, right? As I said, I don't know where people will be. We splashed the TV anyway. Alright guys, unfortunately the wilderness was a little dead in the wilderness cave, so we are going to make our way to Ardeo, but we're going to save that for next video. All in all, this was just about a little over two hours of actual gameplay, and we managed to make it this far. Things should speed up a lot once we get into Ardeo, it's very fast paced here. And I've already started a little and I know it's going to be a blast guys so much for making it to the end of the video if you could give me a sub that would mean a lot and 
hit that like button as well. I appreciate it a lot. I'm going to try and make more videos and pump out some more content for you all. Peace.